The Books of Doom, Chapter 5 I found my homeland was much as I had left it so many years before, a place whose beauty had long ago collided with poverty and decay, where the needs of the rich were paid for with the sweat of peasants, where debtors' prisons stocked the workforce with slave labor, who toiled under the watchful eyes of the king's soldiers. Yes, that varia was a place which would welcome the change von Doom would bring. After a week of careful study, I knew exactly how to best make my presence known. Laugh not at the people you oppress, soldiers of Latveria, for the time of your reckoning is at hand. So swears Dr. Doom. Hey, hey, you would you just stay back. What the devil? Close soldier, but I've seen devils, and believe me, doom is something else altogether. Fire! Kill whatever it is! No weapon forged by mortal hands can touch Von Doom. Von... Von Doom? I knew of a Victor Von Doom. Long ago, he fought the Baron's men before the Baron became king. I was once Victor Von Doom, and I have come back to my homeland for one purpose alone, to stain these hills with the blood of tyrants. Now go, go and spread the news. The days of King Vladimir are soon coming to an end. So says Dr. Doom. Yes, I could have simply flown to the king's castle and slain him. None of his soldiers could have stopped me. But I wanted my fame to spread throughout the land before I claimed it as my own for the peasants to see me as their hero, their savior. And I wanted King Vladimir to fear my approach, my revolution. Laren and I had moved quickly, establishing a base of operations in the bowels of an old abandoned castle. Overlooking a small village, long abandoned after the deaths, in one night, of all the children who lived there. Here we would build the weapons we needed and gather the people around us. As I began to reshape Latveria with my own strong hands. What troubles you, Master? Nothing troubles Dr. Doom, Laren. You know that. Of course, Master, but you do seem lost in thought, more so than usual. True. I've been plotting the course of my ascent, and I believe it may simply take too long, making these small strikes, waiting for my legend to spread. And you are thinking there is a way to do it more quickly? I am, but it requires something I left long ago. What is that, Master? My family. They were not hard to find not for one who was born on the roads they traveled each season. Boris. Eh? Huh? Who is that there? Show yourself. The years have gone hard on you, Boris, but surely there have not been so many that you've forgotten my voice. Master Victor, it, it, it cannot be. What have you... What have they done to you? No one has done a thing to me, old man. What you see before you is what I have made myself into, something beyond man. I do not expect you to understand, but I do expect you to follow my orders. Uh, of course, master. What can I do? I had him gather the leaders of the family late that night, and I told them of the road that lay before them. 
a road that would see our ragged gypsy tribe usurp the power from those who lorded it over us for generation upon generation. I don't know how you expect us to do this, Von Doom. The king has the backing of the Russians now, and more weapons and soldiers than you can count. I can calculate further than you'd even imagine, Gustav. But I didn't invite you here for a debate. I'm telling you what will happen. I will lead the people of Latveria in a revolution, and I will succeed. I have nearly the arsenal I need already. What I do not have enough yet are the people. That is where all of you will come in. No one knows the back roads of this land better, and you will use them. You will send messengers throughout the land to spread my news. And what news would that be, Von Doom? That a new day is dawning for Latveria, that I am bringing this new day to them, that those willing to fight against King Vladimir must join me. And why should the people listen to us? Because your messengers will carry these. The holograms they project will show the work I have already begun. The people will understand what I have become, and that the time of their freedom is at hand. Th that night, when he came back, we were stunned to see him like that, covered in armor for the first time, and he seemed a bit, uh, crazy. And poor old Torvald, he said what we were all thinking. It seems to me you're looking to become king yourself, Von Doom, so I don't see as there'll be any more free under your rule. Torvald, you cannot speak to the master. L let him speak. Boris, you leave us for years, then show up in this madman's outfit, and you expect us to just... to help you raise an army? Yes, I expect you to do my bidding, because I am still the leader of this clan. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Turva had played the fiddle at Victor's parents' wedding, but he just cut him down without a thought. I'll never forget that. He even made us bury his remains. Poor old fool. Within days, riders had made their way throughout the land, spreading my messages. And in the secrecy of the abandoned village below, my army began to gather itself, awaiting the orders of their savior. Though not all who came came to serve. Is that really even you, Victor? Valeria, what are you doing here, girl? We prepare for war. This is no place for women. I am not your subject yet, Victor. I can choose where to be for myself. It isn't wise to disagree with me. No, I'm sure it is not. What do you want? Forgive me for disturbing you. I just had to see for myself what you'd become, and now that I have, I don't know what to make of it. This, this suit of armor is what you left me for? The armor is merely a shell, Valeria, and the man inside is not one you would understand. Not anymore. It keeps your dreams away, doesn't it? The dreams of your mother. Show her out! Laren. Yes, master. Can't you even look me in the eyes, Victor? And you think you have power now? You don't! All you've done is build better walls between yourself and the world. Valeria couldn't understand. She still looked for the fragile child within me, the boy she'd loved so many years ago. I felt nothing but pity as she was dragged, crying from my sight. Days later, I made sure that her uncle got her out of the country before the true fighting began. Latveria would no longer be a place for one of such gentle spirit. No, Latveria, until I held it in my own hands, would be a place of fear and blood. 
and not much beyond. As my strength grew in numbers, so also grew the frequency of my assaults on the king's men. With each legion led by creatures of my own imagining, robotic soldiers much like the ones I'd begun during my years in America, but I'd perfected them this time and simplified their logic protocols. Now they listened to no one save doom. They did only my bidding. We began driving the king's men from villages and towns. My rebellion forces were simply more than they could withstand. It was all going exactly as planned. By spring's end, I would be face to face with the king. On a field of corpses. And with each small victory, more of the downtrodden in my homeland rallied to my side. To fight for freedom. To celebrate the change that was upon them. To bask in the glory of Von Doom. But elsewhere, such change drew another response entirely. My liege, he claims to be a messenger from their leader, this Dr. Doom. I was to deliver this to you. Doom will speak for himself. Very well. Take him out back and shoot him, Captain. Yes, my liege. But wait, I'm a messenger. How will you deliver your answer? Perhaps I'll have them stuff it in the mouth of your corpse, traitor. No! King Vladimir, I am here to offer you one last chance. Chance for what? To live, which is more than you deserve. What right have you to speak thus to your king? You are no king of mine. Merely an old man raised beyond your station too late in life. But to me, you will always be the baron. The sniveling little man who drove my father to his death because he could not cure your wife's disease. Von Doom, then it is true. You are the Dr. Doom they speak of. I am and I make my offer only once. Surrender now, or die at my hands, old man. <sighs> you did not expect him to surrender, master. No, Laren, and I'd have been very disappointed if he had. After all, the true spectacle will begin tomorrow. Bot 14, field report. Bot, Leader 3 reports Soviet supply line ready for destruction. Master Doom, awaiting your orders. Transmit order to Bot Leader 3. Destroy. Order transmitting. My people, the king has rejected my call for peace. He has rejected my offer to spare his life. And so tomorrow we begin the final march of our journey. A march to victory. To victory! To victory! To victory! To victory! To victory. I could almost taste its acid flavor on my tongue already.